Clock's ticking, y'all. Clock's ticking. <laughs> You're probably like, man, what's up with that that thumbnail, man? Look like you had to poop. I know, I just <laughs> face ass. I don't really have like a message for y'all today. It's just like I wanted to like get this out. The clock is ticking, man. Freaking day by day. The days are coming so fast. Like it's already the 16th. <laughs> I got a little less than a month, and I'm kind of like freaking out. You know, I talked to my homegirl in Vegas yesterday. Um, or she doesn't even stay in Vegas anymore. She moved to Arizona, so. I'm literally not gonna have anybody when I go down there, but that's nothing new, you know. I don't got a lot of friends in my hometown. I don't, like, I conversate with people I see at the gym, but I don't, like, hang out with them, you know. I got, like, a co two close friends that we actually kick it from time to time, but, you know, I'm, I'm not, like, a huge, I don't got huge friends, so it's not gonna be, like, super scary, like, oh, I don't know anybody, because I don't really know anybody in my hometown, you know. I got people I see all the time, you know, that... That. But with the job situation, um, you might have seen I quit my job. Um, yeah, I quit my job today. And I went to this interview today. Job was trash. Had to turn it down. But then I just started applying, you know. And I got like three three job offers in one day here. One day, dog. I got um, a job offer. Uh, interview in the morning tomorrow. I'm waiting for a background check. I got a full job already, you know what I'm saying, with good pay. It's, it's it's some landscaping, you know? And I don't really mind landscaping. Like, it's pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? You get to be outside. Um, and it's paying, like, way better than, like, what you might think for a landscaping job. Um, I made sure that, uh, like I said, I go through these temp agencies and I tell them what I want for pay. And they, they go look for it. And I got this one where you install, like, hot tubs for rich people you know like go to their house and it, install hot tubs so i got like three jobs on the table right now like right after like god or somebody is really blessing me right now um i've taken a lot of falls but um you just gotta you just gotta keep grinding through all the through all the uh downfalls but uh it's scary the scary thing about this is the scary thing about the move is i'm gonna move right and I'm not gonna know my surroundings. I'm not gonna know, um, I'm not really gonna have a place to stay right away, you know? Um, I'm thinking about for the week of the 15th of June, cause that's when I gotta be out of this place. I might stay in an Airbnb for a week or a hotel just so I can get my rent check, you know? Cause I don't wanna leave unless, I'm not gonna have an address to mail it to, you know? So it's really gonna be like, this is what's really stressing me out right now is, Cause I don't got like a, a set place to stay, you know. Um, I don't want to apply to an apartment without some sort of income, you know, um, first. Because what if I apply to an apartment and I can't find a job like I can find jobs up here, you know. But I've been doing my research on Vegas and everything is like open up. I know how to hustle, you know. I know how to grind. I know how to... All day today, I didn't just sit in the house all day. I went to the gym early in the morning, went to that interview. Well, I went to the interview first, then went to the gym went to um start applying to more jobs jobs went to another interview at 3 p.m um i just been grinding you know what i'm saying that's what you got to do you got to keep yourself busy um and keep your mind off the bullshit. and the only thing that's scaring scaring me right now is you know just going to a place that i've never been because i know my way around this area i got a little comfortable place right here you know what i'm saying i'm so comfortable right now and i got just offered jobs you know i'm just questioning myself on whether i should leave but i know i gotta leave i gotta leave i gotta leave i gotta leave because it's not gonna make it's not gonna make me happy staying here um i thought maybe i should stay like um one of my subscribers he says stay another six months but it's just like if i stay another six months I'm just gonna get more miserable and more miserable. And I was talking to my homegirl last night and she was like, man, I think this would be a great move for you. I think you will really like it down there. She moved to Arizona just cause she had some other stuff to deal with, but uh, I'm not gonna put her business out. But uh, she was just like, I talked to her briefly on the phone. She motivated me, was like, man, that's gonna be a great move for you. I think you can really thrive down there and do your thing. She's been really supportive. So it's dope, you know? So. I'm gonna make this move, but I might take a delay on the 15th. Stay for one week just so I can get that rent check. I'm gonna have to spend like, drop like 400 on the hotel. I'm thinking hotel or Airbnb, one of the two. I don't know, what do you guys think? Airbnb or hotel? Um, Cause 
I gotta bring my cat with me. Plus, you know it's gonna cost money to spend money on food and shit, so I don't know. But that's just an update, you know, I don't got no like motivation for y'all. Little bit of motivation, little bit of whatever, you know. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you guys tomorrow if you plan on tuning in tomorrow. Peace.